Greetings, science fiction and fantasy enthusiasts. You're listening to No Deodorant in Outer Space. Now, let's get started. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome to another edition of No Deodorant in Outer Space. My name is Ryan Sean O'Reilly, and I am joined here by my cousin, Mike O'Reilly. Hello. Mike, how are you doing? I'm wonderful. How are you? Pretty good. This is a preview episode for an upcoming uh, edition of No Deodorant Outer Space, where we are going to be discovering, or discovering, we're going to be talking about the author, Charles Beaumont, who was a writer for The Twilight Zone, which was created by Rod Serling, who we also discuss in the film version we're going to discuss i think six different stories we did per chance to dream though that was the name of the book we did the beautiful people we did the jungle we did the man who made himself we did we did the story per chance to dream and we did song for a lady we covered a number of uh, short stories that were turned into episodes and we talked about Beaumont, and we talked about serling and serling's treatment of his writers we were, see, the thing was we recorded this episode a while ago. We did it while we were at, uh, where were we at? The We were at the Wildwood Film Festival. That's right, over in Appleton, Appleton, Wisconsin. Correct. And you'll hear us talk about that on the episode, and we recorded it sort of in the mi- middle of the festival while we were in between, in, in between uh, attending a seminar and the exhibition of the films. And Mike himself had a film exhibited. At the festival. Yes, I did. We mentioned that on the podcast. What was the name of the film? Volatile. Yes. And since we're recording this preview episode afterward, we can tell you how his film played at the festival. How did it play? Played pretty well. <laughs> I'd say you won an award when we were when we were there. Yeah, won a little award. What was the award? It was the Judge's Cho- Choice Award. Yes. So it's kind of a emerging emerging talent type award. It was generous. Yeah. So that was very exciting. We had an awesome time there, staying over in Appleton, and we, we we were up very late. I think I was up for 24 hours. Yep, that sounds about right. I remember, remember uh, <coughs> feeling a, a bit ill in the car ride afterwards, if you remember. Yeah, if we we had a very good time celebrating your, your win and going to some bars and staying up very, very late. It was fun. Yeah. That film, incidentally is now available on the internet, correct? It is. It's under my YouTube channel, which you can find at uh, moreilly318. If you just go on YouTube, you can search for it there, and all of, all of my movies will be on there. It's called Volatile. Volatile. Yeah. And, uh, okay, cool. So I'll put a link on the show notes for that. And I should also mention that we're joined also by two other guests on this episode, your sister and my other cousin, Kaylin O'Reilly, who has her own sort of book commentary review on YouTube under Kaylin Reads, I believe. And we'll discuss that on the podcast. And then we're also joined by uh, your good friend, Andreas. Correct. And all four of us just kind of get into it with Beaumont and Serling and all these various stories. And the whole, like, we talk about the Twilight Zone, which, you know, we're all fans of. And everybody loves that. Yeah, yeah. So join us later in the month when we talk about the Twilight Zone and Charles Beaumont and Rod Serling. And we uh, mention Wildwood. Do not miss it, folks. It's going to be great. And Wildwood, it, it, it's a festival that is that is held every March? Yes, every March. March. Yes, correct. Yeah, so maybe I'll put a link on the website for the Wildwood Film Festival. It's, an, it's a sort of a regional film festival for kind of focus on films in Wisconsin? Yes. All right, cool. We'll be there every year. All right, sounds good. So until then, everyone, good night and look forward to the upcoming episode. Thank you. For more information on the topics discussed in this episode, or to read our show notes and find us on social media, visit nodeodorant.com. Thanks for listening to our show. And always, always remember, there is no deodorant in outer space.